Hey Zach, um, Carson Carson went to your fourth different starting quarterback in that in as many years. What have you noticed about him so far, as far as how he's fit in on the field and inside the locker room since he's been here in a short period of time? I feel like uh, he fit in great. Um, he came out, um, threw a couple passes. We seen how talented he was. Um, everybody, everybody's embracing him. Um, I mean, it's just like you know, every year, like. Any type of different situations or any type of adversity, you know, just you just got to make it work. Um, and it's been going great. It's been going great. I love Carson. Um, great person, great guy. Um, and yeah, it's been going pretty good. What what has stood out about him so far that maybe you know people on the outside don't know about Carson Wentz? So. Uh, yesterday uh, we had a, a challenge. We had a basketball challenge. He could shoot. Um, pretty athletic. I'm sure everybody knows he's athletic, but he's super athletic. Um, and, you know, I think he could throw the ball probably 80, 100 yards for sure. So he, he gave you buckets then? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> JJ? Zach, what have you learned over the last couple of years about how to develop that receiver-quarterback relationship with so many new quarterbacks coming in and out? Um. Well, you know, like you guys said earlier, you know, we had a couple of different – quarterbacks in the past couple of years, but I think everything starts in practice. I mean, you have to go hard in practice. You got to get the timing down over and over and over in the off season or whenever you can. Um, it may not have to be team setting, but, you know, y'all two can go out and, you know, get those, get those connections going, you know, for the season. Um, just finding different ways to, you know, get those things down and locked in for the season. How has Carson been with that so far? Oh, he's been great. Um, you know, this offseason, we had a couple of throwing sessions. I mean, probably he probably got to all of his receivers. We probably go do more this offseason. Um, and he's a guy that likes to work. So that just blends in perfectly with everybody, you know, on the team who loves loves to, you know, make the changes to get that work in so we can be so we can be great. So um, looking forward to it. Chap. Zach, with uh, again, with with the fourth different quarterback that you have to deal with a starter. Is it overblown that, it, that there is, you have to put the work in or it, it just doesn't come naturally. I mean, what, what are the steps and how soon, like how soon did you feel really comfortable with Phillip Rivers last year, considering you really had no off season at all. It does take time, right? I mean, me and Phil had sessions last year in off season as well. Um, we had a couple of throwing sessions, so um, I wouldn't say it's natural. I mean, for some it may be natural, but um, I feel like the guys on this team, the plays that we have, um, it's a lot of time and routes, a lot of things that, you know, we have to be on the same page with the quarterback, and that that, that comes with reps. That's how we um, get better over here. We got to rep it, rep it, rep it, and make sure, you know, everything is crisp for the season. Um, yeah. George Bremer. Zach, we saw uh, Michael Pittman really come on at the end of the year last year. What do you think his ceiling is, and, and what have you seen from him so far this spring? Uh, I feel like the ceiling is the the ceiling is high for uh, Pitt um, coming off his rookie season, go, uh, having a lot of momentum coming into this season. I mean, he looks great now. Looks like he's been working. Routes look crisp. Hands look crisp. Um, I feel like now it's just getting time with the quarterback, and then we should. Um, he'll just take off from there. Um, I'm excited to see him play this season um, and excited to see him go out there and work. All righty. Thank, thanks for your time, Zach. Yes, sir.